collision center here in Abuja, and I have uh, the representative of the All Progressive Congress in this uh, collision center, and uh, it used to be a member of the Lagos State House of Assembly. It used to be the legal, national legal advisor of the All Progressive Congress. That's Mr. Babatunde Ogala, S-A-N. How are you, sir? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good evening. Can you tell me about the drama that just <laughs> sit here? Yeah, you've just described it as what it is, a drama, albeit a badly scripted movie script. Um, you could see that some persons arrived from the announcement of the first results. It was clear they wanted to disrupt this process. Um, yesterday you saw when before Ikiti, and then they continue with the same thing this morning. And in so doing, they attempted to use the instrumentality of the law, but quite unfortunately, they do not have knowledge of it. Uh, and those who have, whoever advised them to use that did also perhaps not teach them the rudiments. What were the issues they raised? Simply put, the state co um, coalition officer needed to have... Uh, uh, uploaded the results. This section 65, section 64, section 60 of the Electoral Act that they were abusing, because that's what they were doing, abusing the law and uh, misapplying, misquoting, simply provides that results are be uploaded from the polling unit. Transmission is from the polling. Those were the clear words. And which are these results that we are having here. Is there any one of it that has not been announced at the state level? There are four layers, four steps were taken before these results got here. First, at the polling units, where all the parties have agents that signed. From there, they went on to the world um, units, coalition center, where all parties have agents and signed. From there to the local government, where all parties have agents who also signed and then to the state coalition centers. Beyond that, there's nothing here that is being announced that is already not already on the social media and on the traditional media. We've been watching TV stations, including yours, streaming results. All TV stations have been streaming results. Um, for instance, um, we all knew Labour Party won Lagos State before now. We all knew Yobe PDP won in Yobe before now. We all knew PDP won in Oshun State before now. We all knew uh, uh, the Labour Party won Enugu State before now. So what then is the drama all about? About a kitty that APC won. What then is the drama about Quara that APC won? So if Labour can win Lagos, APC cannot win Quara. APC cannot win a kitty. So, you see, for us, um, for anybody who has participated in an examination, you are anxious if you've done well. You are anxious to have your results if you have done well. You want it announced as soon as possible. But when you've not done well, the tendency is to either blame the invigilator, blame the um, desk you sat on, Blame the pen you used. Or he had the time nine is, other political parties out of 18 with him. And we saw them working out. And uh, yeah, would well, that not take yeah, legitimacy of the citizens? But you also saw that somebody, not us, not APC, raised the issue that they had read in the social media that some people are addressing the press conference somewhere and they have said all parties, uh, the majority of the parties have... Um, boycotted, walked out, or decided not to further participate in the process. And each part got up to say, I am not part of those who walked out, including National Alliance that was with them, including PRP. And we counted how many? Twelve parties here. Twelve or thirteen. Only eighteen participated in this election. So where are they getting their numbers from? At least you saw 12 publicly here who said, we are not part of a workout. We are here with you. 
So if 12 are here, and uh, some persons uh, one labor and one um, one labor and a PDP decide to work out. These are the two major contenders, no, not they, one labor uh, and the PDP. These are major contenders. NNPP is a contender. APC is a contender. Is APC not a contender? Is SDP not winning any seats in some states? Are those not contenders? I don't think there is a bigger contender in all of them than an APC. That currently has uh, 22 state governors, majority of the House of Reps, majority of the Senate. And, uh, so there, there's no party. Your, that, party, your party. No, 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 there's no party. No, I think I'm, let's not talk about Lagos. Let's talk about here. I'm here as agents at the National Coalition Center, not Lagos. We have lost Lagos. We have lost Lagos. And Ashwaju Tinubu has already made a statement on that. There's nothing to debate about that. So we move forward, uh, forward now. These results, a lot of Nigerians they are so anxious looking at this is Monday. That's, <laughs> that it's, it's taking long by now. Yeah, we've, to, be... we've had 10 states so far, and uh, we are reconvening another two hours, another one hour. Uh, and um, let's see how far we can go. Perhaps we may be able to go halfway today, and hopefully by tomorrow we should know the president elect or uh, at worst on a Wednesday, on Wednesday morning. No, no, all, over the, all over the world, the American election, you did not also get the results within two, three, four days. It took quite a few days. So let's not make it look like it's our peculiarity that when we have elections, we must have it same day. If, yeah. I have, if I'm an agreed party yes. and I have a kind of complaint, mm -hmm. something that, that's, you know, like an injustice that has been done to my party, yeah. how do I go about it? within the ambit of this, the without the, the tribunal. The Electoral Act is clear. The Electoral Act is clear. You can't go outside the Electoral Act. I can't advise you on any other way other than what the law provides. And what does the law provide? If elections are declared, you have 21 days from that, from the day of the election, the results are declared, to approach the election petition tribunal. And I said that clearly here yesterday. And I still repeated it today. This is not a place for you to come and start complaining about uploading non-compliance and all that. If there's non-compliance, the law, the statute, the constitution, and the electoral act has clearly spelled out what you can do, steps you should take, and how to go about it. So section 652, because they kept reading it, reading half of it, maybe or understood half of it, by saying the commission has seven days. And the chairman rightly told them, even if so, it's after the completion. So you have, and the senator said, the senator said, you could approach the election petition tribunal, which has been constituted, and is waiting and ready, waiting for them. Let me allow you to take a little nap before they start again. Thank you. <laughs> That's uh, Honorable Baba Tunde Ogala. SAN, a former member representing Ikeja constituency of the Lagos State House of Assembly and a former national legal advisor of the All Progressive Congress. Femi Akode, I, the way we are going and the timeline he has given to us that it might not be possible that we should have everything today that we are looking at t tomorrow, 10 states down. 26 more to go. Yeah. Well, uh, looking at what um, it's going on, it's possible that uh, we're going to have a long night. We expect some of the states to have come in by now. And, you know, INEC will do, um, the coalition center will reconvene at 8 p.m. So we expect that that stretch of um, the night from 8 p.m. through to uh, maybe midnight uh, or early tomorrow morning, they may, uh, uh, they may be able to conclude the national coalition for the entire country and maybe a, a winner will be eventually be announced but i want my projection will be that before midday tomorrow a, a winner would likely be announced the tightest you want to call it yes neck and neck it's it's it, it's really tight I the know, offset here yes i know it's interesting it also shows how uh, nigeria's down, democracy down. yes yes how nigeria's democracy has matured how it has evolved and you know with the new electoral um law it now shows that power has returned to the hands of the people, politicians will no longer take uh, people for granted. We have seen the people have spoken through uh, their ballots, and we are expecting INEC now to uh, 
uh, should I say, uh, confirm what uh, all of these um, votes, uh, what the people are saying through their votes, who they have chosen for president. That is the process, and we are um, waiting to uh, be concluded right now. But you know, it's um, the beauty of um, democracy, and it, it, it's good for the country. And when you want to look at the, the feedback and the, from the foreign observers, we've been getting preliminary reports that we've been getting from the international community, mm. international observers, yeah. and then um, you want to tell us, do you have an inkling of what well, we've been saying Well, about for the sectors? foreign observers, they have been very cautious. You know, President Muhammad Buhari also warns them not to uh, interfere in Nigeria's um, internal affairs. Yes, they are observing, but they are also careful with uh, the kind of statements they make, the kind of... Uh, conclusions uh, the uh, conclusions they make about um, the whole process. It is Nigeria's affair, and President Mohamed Wai says it should be strictly Nigeria's affair. He advised them not to uh, try to uh, maybe say, make some, some kind of statements that would uh, maybe incite or, or, or just, or just uh, paint Nigeria in a negative light. We also saw uh, even some of the domestic observers we have been trying to speak with, a lot of them say they are waiting for IA to conclude the process before they can uh, begin to come up with their own reports, uh, observation, uh, observatory reports, and, and all of that. You know, the decision, the box stops on the desk of the Independent National Electoral Commission. And you know, the chairman of INEC has a national returning officer in our declaration. Like, yeah. the Labour Party and yeah. everything. I foresee them approaching the tribunal, or what do you... What do you think? Well, most likely, that's... that's Since that's, they weren't able to have their way here. Yeah, that's the most um, civilized um, thing to do, you know. Uh, they tried to raise objections and all of that. I know there was uh, um, some objections, counter objections and all of that. And, you know, because um, they didn't have their way, they worked out. But, you know, the best thing to do would be uh, the tribunal, as, 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 as stipulated uh, by the law of the tribunal, the court of appeal, up to the Supreme Court, and all of that. It's not the first time we have seen election results um, disputed in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. And so we expect, yes, and so we expect to see so many, uh, Except 2015. Yeah, so many litigations and all of that arising from this election. And you also know that they build up this election. This was the highest that INEC has, um, that in terms of um, litigation, this was the highest INEC has ever had. This is the biggest election in Nigeria's history the biggest deployment for INEC, well, so a lot, over 400 billion yes, a lot was at stake, uh, it, uh, 93 uh, plus million registered voters, we've never had it like this, mm -hmm. so many new entrants, a new number of um, first-time voters and all of that, so you know the political awareness, the enthusiasm on the part of the people, a lot of people were interested in the process, not just in Nigeria, including Nigerians in diaspora were interested in the process. Everybody wanted to see how it would go. If you go on social media now, you know that's the conversation that is trending. Everybody talking about Nigeria's election. Let's talk about Lagos, that sleeping giant. Mm. Five, six point two million registered voters. At the end of the day, when the old figures came out, look at the number of people that participated in that whole in the whole exercise. Well, it's 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 actually um, sad. You know, it's not just um, Lagos. If you look at more many states, sometimes you see a state of uh, let's say one million registered voters, and then you see just two hundred thousand people deciding the fate of that state or deciding who whether a lot of people collect um, these uh, permanent voter cards just for the sake of um, having something as like an uh, uh, just having an identity using it. That so across. And you want to believe that, oh, if these are prospective voters, if they have their PVC, mm -hmm. they will turn out aimers. So yes. Crowd. Yeah, you know, a lot of people, when it comes to elections, they know it's a very delicate period. Uh, it, it's a volatile situation. Elections in Nigeria are very volatile. It could change at any time. So people are very careful. And if you also look at um, this period, Nigeria has had uh, its fair share of challenges, both um, insecurity and all of that. The country had, had been on the edge leading to the election. Look at the cash crunch, look at the petrol scarcity and all of those things. So there has been fatigue on the part of the people. People that have spent days on fuel queues, spent days trying to get cash. You still want them to come to the um, polling unit and spend time again queuing up. So not all of them had um, that kind of um, zeal to come out again and stay for long hours. You know the challenges that came with the election at some polling units. Uh, the electoral officer did not arrive on time. In some cases, uh, the beavers malfunctioned. It had to be changed. In some cases, uh, just so many issues, challenges, glitches, and all of that here and there. So not everyone uh, had that, uh, should I say, had that, uh, has the capacity to withstand uh, these challenges. The IREV portal of the Independent National Electoral Commission mm. with the capacity of 2 million people to be able to access you know, the results and everything, mm. a lot of Nigerians waited. Mm. That, that's actually real time. 
we start having the results and everything, mm. but didn't, not not according to the promise of INEC, they couldn't. You know what we saw in Edo, what we saw in Ondo, they couldn't replicate it in the general election. Well, Why this not? might be a conversation we would have to um, have as a, as a country moving forward. You know, um, using technology, how how uh, efficient is gas and broadband capacity and all of that. It's not um, really where it should be. We know that they say we have 5G and we have all of those um, upgraded um, technology, internet technology and all that. But you know, it has not really helped um, to make things smooth for Nigeria. Let us look at um, this whole um, banking uh, system, for instance. Look at how difficult it is to make uh, e-transactions, e-payments and all of that. When INEC came with uh, this whole cash swap that uh, later turns uh, into uh, uh, maybe a cashless policy. Mm. You know, there was so much congestion on um, the e-payment portals of banks and all other financial institutions. I know it's, it slowed down the process.